Hi, this is Manjiri for Yogi and we are discussing neck issues. In this segment, we are going to discuss bringing strength to the muscles that support the neck. And this is something we often ignore. There are a couple of ways to build strength. One is to create resistance when you're stretching the muscles. And the second one is weight bearing. And that weight bearing happens during inversions, but we're not going to address that today. So in the resistance, we use just the hands to create resistance for the muscles. First, interlace the fingers and place your hands to support the weight of your head. So you're going to place your hands right at the base of the cranium and then lift the head a little higher against your shoulders and then press your elbows back, expand the chest. If you're lifting it higher, you're going to feel it. Although I won't be able to see it, you should be able to notice the difference immediately when you do it correctly. Stay here for a few breaths. And then if you're okay here, then go ahead, take a deep breath and on exhale, slowly turn to your left but keep that resistance by keeping the elbows in the same plane. This pose is quite challenging to do it correctly because the right elbow, the front elbow would try to come in like this to make it easy for you and you want to create resistance by pushing it back. So again a few breaths here. And then come back to center. Before going to the other side, release your hands. Just shake them out. Notice the sensations in the left side compared to the right side. And the next time you interlace, just change your fingers. And then once again, roll the shoulders. Press your elbows back. Lift your cranium away from the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Turn to the other side, keeping those elbows back. So you really want to feel that resistance between your head and your hands. Again, a few breaths here. And then coming back to center and then release the hands, loosen them up. And now you want to bring your right hand right on the side of the head and you're trying to drop your right ear towards the right shoulder. So without that hand, it will go all the way. My hand is going to come to resist that movement. So I'm again, it's not quite visible, but you should be really able to feel it in the neck muscles. In fact, I can even feel it in my arm muscles. So you're getting double the benefit. And again, come back to center, release. Now the other hand on the other side of the head. And now that ear is trying to drop towards the shoulder, but the hand is preventing that from happening. And again, I would feel that tension in my neck. And I'm, I'm doing it rather quickly. You can take your own time. So you can do it maybe like five, six breaths at a time. And you'll notice the difference. And then come back and now you want to bring the hands at the back of the head and then the head is pushing against the hands and the hands are trying to push forward. Again, same thing, you can hold that for a few breaths, maybe like four to five breaths or so, keeping the breath nice and smooth. And then of course you want to do the opposite side. So the hands come on the forehead and the hands are trying to push the forehead back and the forehead is pressing against the hand. And come back, release the hands. Just roll the head gently from side to side, bringing back mobility. And then from back and forth. And then 
then follow that with a few neck circles. And changing the direction, going the other way. So I hope this particular segment and all the other segments help you in releasing tension in your neck and also restore mobility, strength and movement um, in your neck. Thank you for watching.